Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is the newest cast member of Lifetime's hit reality show, Bring It. And she's here today to talk about the new season airing on Fridays on Lifetime. I want you to help me welcome Miss Tawanza Jefferson. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm so glad you were able to make it to the show. And I just want to say congratulations on being the newest cast member of Lifetime's hit show, Bring It. I absolutely love the show. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about you. And I know your daughter was a part of the Baby Dolls uh, dancing team. But first, let's find out, how did you even find out about the auditions? I know she was a part of the Baby Dolls, your daughter. But why did you decide Uh to um, even be a cast member for the Dancing Dolls? Oh, well, I mean, every day is just like I'm a cast member anyway because I'm constantly outside the windows and I'm always peeking through. So I guess it was just normal for me to be one because I'm there anyway. And I love the Dancing Dolls and I'm just a big fan as I am a parent. So it's a very interesting thing being on the porch. Okay, yeah, because see, this was our, well, I know it was my first time actually seeing you on this new season, so I never knew that you were actually outside. So how long has your daughter been a part of the Dancing Dolls team? Well, she has been a baby Dancing Doll. She was a baby Dancing Doll previously, and she was a baby Dancing Doll for um, two and a half years, and then she crossed over to Dancing Dolls. Now, out of all the studios that were, I'm sure, that are in the area that you heard about, what was it about Miss D's Dance and Doll Studios that made you want to join her studio? Well, we have this thing down here. It's called the Battle of the Bands. And they were performing at the Battle of the Bands. And my daughter saw that team, and she said that she wanted to be a member. And I got all the information about the auditions, and I signed her right up because they were the best team in our state. And, and since your daughter's been on the team, can you tell us how your daughter has grown since she's been a part of this dance studio? Well, her confidence has grown and it has developed like a sisterhood because all the girls are abundant and it's really a great experience. She is, you know, slowly coming out of her shell. She hasn't came out of her shell all the way, but Her confidence has grown, and she has grown in progress as a dancer so much. So it's real helpful. Now, speaking to a parent, because this is my first time speaking to one of the parents, what was it like, since your daughter was already a baby doll, when you all found out that a Lifetime wanted to do a show about your dance studio, what was the excitement like? Oh, it was amazing. Like, I always thought that, you know, we should be a reality show because (laughs) – It was always just a lot of stuff going on at the dollhouse. And when we found out, we were all excited. And Diana, she definitely deserved the opportunity because she's such a phenomenal woman, a great coach. And she's very good at what she do. So I think that it was a perfect way for the the state of Mississippi to have a light shine down on them to spotlight the community of Majorette Dance. Now, for you, uh, on on one of the episodes, weren't you a former dancer yourself, and didn't you have a dance team before yourself? I was a former dancer. I actually was a dancer on Diana's aunt team, the Jackson Separates, when I was a kid. Mm. And I, you know, participated in several other dance teams, such as the Callaway Chargers, which was, you know, a high school team, the Crystal Springs Tigerettes. And I was a member of APEX, the ballet company that Christiana and Cameron auditioned for. Mm -hmm. So I also went to APEX Ballet. So I've been dancing forever. And I had a a major at squad for a short period of time. The only thing that stopped me is when I was having my tryouts, the next day, you know, I was pregnant with Zatia. And I ended up going into labor with Zatia and having her. So I really didn't have too much time to deal with it like Diana deal with it. But I totally empathize with everything she goes through with the parents. It can be a bit much, you know. So <laughs> I empathize with her. <laughs> now, speaking of going through with those parents, Miss Tawanza, now you came in like a whirlwind, bamming on windows and everything. Now, are you one of those overbearing parents? I just have to ask. I can be overbearing if I feel like something isn't right in the atmosphere, you know. <laughs> I'm not just hard to work with but you know if I feel like it's something not right and I just got that hint then 
Yeah, I'm not going to be too happy. And it might cause a few problems. <laughs> okay, we're going to check it out throughout the season. Now, with you being now one of the cast members, what do you think you can bring to the show? I mean, I think what I bring to the show is just honesty and dance background and experience. I love the dancing dolls. I do. I believe Red. I love DB4L all day. But, you know, as a dancer, I'm able to, you know, just really speak the truth. It's about who performed the best at the end of the day. And some of the other parents don't like it because, you know, maybe I'm a lot, you know, opinionated with how I feel about other dance teams. And, you know, it's just the experience being that I come from dance background. So, I just try to do the best I can as far as a dance parent without seeming like I'm the know-it-all all all the time. Now, with your dance background, um, have you ever thought about maybe helping Miss Diana with some of the girls and maybe uh, with some of the rehearsals? (laughs) I don't know how Miss Diana would like that. She already put me out of the (laughs) doghouse. My opinion. When I, I feel like the kids should know a little more about cuts, but... I, that would be a great thing. I would not be close to the idea if she ever wanted my advice, but I don't I don't know if that'll happen. Now, where, where do you see Zatia's future going? Do you think she'll be a professional dancer in the future? You know, I'm pretty sure you saw the commercial advice, and I have a lot of big hopes for Zatia. <laughs> so I can't see her really uh, – big light. You know, I don't want to limit her to anything. I want her to know that the sky's the limit and she can go as high as she please. And as long as God guides her in the right direction, I believe the sky's the limit. Well, a- amen to that. Well, I want to say to Wanta, thank you so much for coming on the show. And I want to remind the audience to make sure that you tune in every Friday to Lifetime's hit show, Bring It, Watch Miss D and the Dancing Dolls as they bring it every single Friday. They fail not to bring it. And again, thank you so much to Wanta. And I definitely wish you all the best of luck. And hopefully we see you on the next season. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I really appreciate you inviting me on. I had fun, and just thank you for the opportunity. You are so welcome. Lady Charmaine.